Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be answering some bookish questions as I thought it'd be fun to kind of like get to know my bookish side. So let's get right into this video because I'm really excited to film this. Okay, so the first question is what are you currently reading? So I am currently reading, I'll put it over here actually. I'm currently reading The Mistake by Elle Kennedy um, and I'm in the middle of also doing a reading vlog for this so that should be uploaded very soon but I am enjoying this so far. I'm not that far into it. I'm only um, it's 57 pages into it but it is so good and honestly I didn't think that I would like it as much because everyone was saying that the deal in the school was better than The Mistake so i don't know we'll see but i'm enjoying it a lot so far the next question is what's your favorite book you've read so far this year uh, my favorite book i've read this uh so far um i've enjoyed them all but it's probably unconditional by qb tyler or maybe birthday girl by penelope douglas um I like them both exactly the same so it's either one of those what was the last book you finished and what did you think of it the last book I finished was actually Final Girls by Riley, Riley Sager and I finished it in a vlog um I was reading it in the vlog <laughs> and anyway uh, I enjoyed it it was fun I think I gave it four stars I can't remember but it was good i enjoyed it anyway and it was great for spooky season at the time so i recommend it if you want something like if you want a thriller basically i do recommend it do you own any bookish merch no not at the moment but i do plan on getting loads um because i want some and i haven't got the chance to get any i've only recently looked into it so i'm planning on doing that very soon and i can't wait when I do, um, I'm planning on buying some for myself, but I have also put like some bookish merch down and like for my like birthday and Christmas. So I might get them as presents as well, but you never know. What's an underrated book you think everyone should read? Um, again, as the other question, an underrated book that I think everyone should read is Unconditional by QB Tyler. Like, I've seen it some places, but it's so rare that you see it. It's, like, so underhyped. Like, I think everyone should read it, and I do really recommend it. So, if you haven't read it yet, I suggest that you go and read it, because it's so good. And I can promise you, you won't have any regrets in picking the book up. So, what's a popular book that you think deserves the hype? Um, I think... Any Colin Hoover book, any Penelope Douglas book, especially Punk 57 um, and Birthday Girl. I think those are the two. Um, and A Thousand Boy Kisses, I think. I think they are the ones that really deserve the hype. I mean, there's obviously more that I think deserve the hype, but they're the main ones. Oh, and also Archer's Voice. I think, so, to do, I think that deserves the hype as well. What's a book that everyone loves but isn't really for you? Now, I have read 129 books this year at the moment. If you look at my Goodreads, I don't know if it would be the same at this point. But at the moment, currently, it's at 129. And I have not hated a single book that everyone else loves at the moment. Which I find really strange, personally, because... I don't know if it's because I'm picking up books that I know I will love or what. Like, I want to try fantasy. And I do have the, uh, right at the top, the Immortal Chronicle series. I think that's what it's called. I could be so wrong, so don't go at it. But I think you guys know what I'm, on, what I'm on about. And the Infernal Devices series. I want to read that because that's fantasy, I believe. And I'm not really big on fantasy. Um, I never really have been, but I do enjoy some. So I'm planning on reading that as soon as possible and I don't know, I might enjoy it, I might not. We don't know until I read it so 
at the moment there is no books that I haven't like it hasn't been for me but everyone else loves but there might be one day I mean there's got to be one day what's your favorite reading spot now this might sound weird and I don't know if anyone else is like this or if it is just me but I really enjoy reading in the car like if I'm out and I'm having to wait and I decide to read in the car I really love it and I don't know why like especially when it's raining I love it so much um I don't know I don't really hear many people say they love reading in the car but here I am saying I enjoy reading in the car because I do I love it what's a book that you think deserves its own tv show or movie okay so I think Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas, definitely. I would love to see that in, like, a TV show or movie. Um, but also Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Now, I know that they were planning on doing a movie, but they cancelled it, which is so sad. Like, I would have loved to have seen that, but it is what it is. So, yeah, they're the books that I would love to see in, like, either a movie or TV. Do you have to read the book before you watch the movie slash show? Um, no, I don't. Um, but I have done before. So, like, with the After series, for example, I watched the movies before I read the books. Because, honestly, I didn't even know that there was books. Like, I did When I first watched the movie, obviously, I wasn't into reading at the time. I only got into reading, like, in, like, I think it was July of 2020. So that's so I haven't been re into reading that long. So obviously I watched the movie first after when it came out in 2019, and I didn't know anything about it. I just enjoyed the movie, and then um, eventually I found out it was originally from Wattpad, but then there was books of it. I read the books and I got into reading. So. Yeah, but otherwise, no, I can read the books before I watch a movie or TV show. I don't really mind. And most of the time, I do prefer to read the books before I watch, like, the movie or TV show. Because I have always said this, but when you're reading, you can imagine it in, like, your own way. You can create the image yourself. But with a movie or TV show, that has already been adapted for you. It's already been imagined for you. I don't know if that's just me, I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know, I like to imagine what I think about it, and like make my own adaptation in my head about it, I don't know, but either way, I don't have to, and I do prefer to read the books before I watch a movie or TV show of it. What's a book cover that you love? Um, a book cover that I love, Dandelion. I love that cover so much. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's, like, so colourful. Um, I don't know. Like, and also there is a person on the cover, which I'm not really normally a fan of. But, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's so colourful. Like, it's got, like, loads of different patterns. I don't know. I just love it. Like, it definitely is my favourite cover of like all the books I own. Are there any books that have made you cry? Yes. And I can give you one and if you watch my other videos you would know this already. One book that has made me cry is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tia Cole. That has made me cry. It is such a sad book but it's amazing. I love that book so much. Um, and it was the first book that ever made me cry because I'm not very any emotional person um so when I cried at that book it kind of shocked my like I kind of shocked myself you know but either way I love that book and I do recommend reading it like just for the fact that you're going to cry like that don't make that put you off it's just such a great book and I really do recommend it do you prefer paperback or hardback books I definitely 100% prefer paperback books like I just love them so much, and they're so much easier to read, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I have nothing against hardcovers. Like, as you can probably tell, I do own hardcovers. That's not the only hardcover I 
own but i do own them but if you look on all my shelf or if you watch my book shelf tour which is on my channel so i'll leave that um linked and you can go and check that out but you will be able to tell that most of my books are paperback because i just i don't know i i think they're a lot easier to read do you usually read print books ebooks or audiobooks um i read them all personally i do either read paperback books or an ebook they are the main ones but if i'm going through a reading slump or if i've got like a headache or not feeling well or really not in the mood to read that is when i listen to an audiobook because i'm still getting books read like when i'm not feeling great but yeah so that's what i love about audiobooks is the fact that um if you're not really in the me like in mood to re read or if you've got a headache or not feeling great you can still get reading done because obviously i'm probably not the only one but especially when i've got a headache i can't stand reading but then there are times where i want to read i just can't because my headache so I always listen to an audiobook so I can still get the reading done and still enjoy my book. Um, but yeah, so I read them all. So the main ones I do use are ebooks and paperbacks, but I do use audiobooks as well. So I use them all. What's a book that made you stay up late to finish it? Um, there are loads of books that have made me stay up late just to read it. Um, but I think the main one is probably Birthday Girl. Bad Teacher, definitely, uh, because I read that um, in one sitting, like, literally. Uh, I started that book, didn't, like, get up. I think I started it around, like, 6, 7, and I finished it um, at, like, 5 or 6 in the morning. So, it's bad. I mean, it took me, like, what, 12 hours to read? I believe if I'm counting it right either way it's still bad but I loved it uh, a sweet temptation that I stayed up very late for as well but yeah there are quite a few books but those are the three that I definitely stayed up quite late just to finish I mean not very good for my sleep but either way <laughs> um What's a book that took you an unusually long time to finish? Oh, um, that is actually really hard. Um, I don't know. Oh, maybe it is the one that I am currently reading. Um, this one. Because I'm on page 57. And I've been reading that book for two days. Two days! I think actually this is the third day, but I haven't read anything today. Like, that is so bad. I did a reading... I'm doing... Like I said, I'm doing a reading vlog for The Mistake. And I, I filmed a clip of an update in the car this morning. And I did say I'm going to read some. Which I am. Straight after I finish filming. Because I want to get to that book so badly. I wanted to film first so like like i said keep a look out for that vlog because it's coming very soon or better yet you can subscribe and then you'll know and upload it where do you typically where do you typically get your books from now i mainly get all of my books from amazon but i have also got some books from books to door um though those are like my two main books also what's exciting is that very soon i'm going to a bookstore for the very first time now i've probably been to a bookstore in my life but i've never enjoyed it so this is the first time i'm actually going to enjoy it so i can't wait i'm actually really excited um that's gonna be in, in a few days either way yeah, those are where I typically get my books from. Do you pre-order books or wait for them to come out first? Um, most of the time, I wait for them to come out first, I think. 
because that well actually there's no reason for it i just it's something i do um i was going to pre-order a book one at one point but i think that was a book that i wanted more so i didn't get around to it if i remember correctly but yeah i typically i just wait for it to come out what genre of books do you normally read in I normally read uh, romance, mostly. Um, if you look at my shelves, you will see mostly romance books. They're just the books that I enjoy a lot more. But I do read like thrillers and like mysteries. I do love those as well. Um, I actually do need to get more, some more thrillers and mystery books. I do want to get a lot more fantasy um, soon because I want to get into fantasy. Because when I was younger, I always picked up a fantasy book and I ha hated it. I think that's why I hated reading so much. Because I wasn't looking for my typical genre. Um, but I do want to get into fantasy. I just need to find a good fantasy book. And obviously, I'm older now. So my taste in books will probably have changed. I, d I don't know. I mean, I can only test a fantasy. But the genre that I mostly lean to is romance. Because they're just so easy to read, so quick. And they're really enjoyable. I mean, opinion is mine, but yeah. Okay, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like this video and subscribe. And when you have subscribed, comment down below. I have subscribed and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.